We chance upon uh, an advertisement about fostering in 2003 in one of the newspapers. Just to help and give love to the children. We felt that we have been blessed with good health and we have a, a house, a family to share with others and that motivated us to join as foster parents. We are doing very, very much. <laughs> we have fun together, go out together, play together. For me, one of the greatest joy of fostering is to see how the children um, learn to communicate, to work along um, with one another. Singapore's fostering scheme traces its beginnings all the way back to the 1950s. Babies abandoned or homeless were cared for in government institutions. But there were plans for something better. The late Daisy Vithalingam, a social worker in the Children's Pediatrics Unit at Singapore General Hospital, played a key role in setting up the fostering scheme. I found that some of the attendants were very good at looking after these small babies. So I talked to them and I said, would you be prepared to take these children home and look after them? And they said yes. So this is how the foster care scheme started. In 1956, the arrangement was formalised by the Social Welfare Department, called the Boarding Out Scheme. This was the beginning of Singapore's fostering scheme. It began with just 20 babies. In the same year, the Committee on Fostering was also set up. The committee plays a key role in ensuring the safety and welfare of the children in foster care through reviewing their care plans. One of the pioneer committee members was the late Dr. Sylvia Go. They want a doctor to be there so that when they are not sure, you know, where sh this child should go and all that. So, or something wrong with the child, at least they can ask there and then instead of waiting to go and see a doctor. In 1962, the Social Welfare Department organised one of the earliest tea parties to recognise the contributions and sacrifices of foster parents. Such appreciation activities has since been held annually for foster parents and foster children. One of the longest serving foster mothers is Madam Indrani Nadesan. It's the first time in my life I was very happy, you know, Daniel. My time passed very quickly, very happily, spent the time with the children, playing, giggling with them, running, catching. In Singapore, families form the core of our society, providing support for each other. Generations of foster families have opened up their hearts and homes since the fostering scheme was conceived in 1956. Because even children who have been abused, neglected or abandoned grow up best in a family. Over the years, we have transformed the out-of-home care sector to develop more family-based options for vulnerable children to grow up in a positive family environment. We intensified efforts to raise awareness on fostering and worked with partners such as the Social Service Institute to formalize training and provide better support for foster families. Five fostering agencies were also appointed between 2015 and 2019 to build fostering capabilities in the community. We amended the Children and Young Persons Act in 2019 and extended childcare leave to foster parents, providing them more time and flexibility to care for their foster children benefiting more than 6,000 vulnerable children to date. I thank and honour all our foster families, past and present, for your support and contributions. Because of your love and commitment, our foster children are able to experience a positive family life. Thank you for joining us in this life-changing work of fostering. To our partners, thank you for journeying with us to strengthen our fostering community. Despite our efforts thus far, there are still children who do not have the benefit of growing up in a positive family environment. 
will continue to grow family-based care and enhance support for foster parents and children. It is our hope to see more families step forward to create a positive impact in the lives of vulnerable children. Let's continue to spread the word on fostering. I'm confident that we can build a better future for our children and give every child the best start in life, regardless of their family circumstances, nurturing them to fulfill their fullest potential and to achieve their hopes and dreams.